Welcome to the beginning of another What's Sold video. This is Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Uh, it is Tuesday morning, and I am in snowy Las Vegas. Yes, we woke up this morning to snow, so I'm bundled up. Um, we have snow, I don't know, maybe once every 10 years, and it'll be gone very soon. Uh, but I, I woke up and picked up my phone and saw somebody else. I posted a picture of it on Facebook, so I jumped up to look out the windows. Um, I miss snow. Anyway, uh, as I said, it's Tuesday. I made one sale yesterday, which was Monday, and that sale was some Merrill Jungle Mock Perfect Mocha Slip-Ons, size 7. I got these at an estate sale, and I don't know, I, I probably should have held out for more, but especially when they catch me when uh, when things are uh, slow, I tend to be soft. Uh, what happened was, I had them listed at 25, and on Sunday, Closet Clearout Day, I sent a message to a liker saying that I would reduce the price to 20 and they would get, you know, shipping at $4.99. Well, they didn't respond until, like, the, the next morning. Uh, so I said, well, unfortunately, Closet Clearout is, is over, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make you that offer, and I'll cover the shipping. So I did. I sent her an offer for $20 with reduced shipping. So I end up making, uh, let's see, $13.88. So not much of a flip, but I got a good, pretty good price on them. So I can live with that. And then, I mean, I guess that's the risk with sending out those offers. You know, if they say yes, but they don't understand the whole parameters of the closet clear out, I feel kind of bad saying, oops, sorry. Um, if... If um, I knew that a closet claret was coming up, I'd be like, but I can, I can, we can do this. We just have to wait until, but like sometimes they do closet clear out on Tuesday and they always do Sunday, I think. And they always seem to do Friday uh, and sometimes they do Tuesday. But as far as I know, like today, I, I don't, I don't think they have it. I got to double check that because I did, I did send out a lot of offers today, which I shouldn't have. If, no, I checked this morning and nothing was coming up for closet clear out. So anyway, um, then this morning I sold this. It is an Ann Taylor, just a plain tunic length top. It's got the like slits there. Is there is there a better word for this than slits? Um, but it had these really nice sleeves. Uh, somebody I know gave me a big bag of stuff. She was she was just cleaning out and had a big bag of stuff that she was going to donate. And she gave it to me instead. So I waited through it, and I'm not selling even half of the stuff. But I thought this was nice. I made an offer. Uh, I had it listed at 20. I offered 18 with reduced shipping, so my earnings are 12.28. But as I said, this was given to me, so that is pure profit, baby. Pure profit. Um, so. Hopefully, I'll have a lot more to show you later on. I'm going to go out and play in the snow. Really? No. <clears throat> if you're a reseller and you go on, like, Facebook groups, uh, you would have seen how many resellers complain about being asked for measurements and then, of course, never getting a purchase out of it. I don't know. To me, that's part of business. And I do try to put as much measurements as I can. Um, but anyway, this item that just sold is from one of my, uh, is a, an early listing, I think. It's been around for a very long time. It's a, a wrap dress. It's this bandolino wrap dress. The person asked me how long it is. I was on my way home from the pool, and so when I got home, I measured it and sent it to her, and she purchased it within two minutes. So I guess it doesn't hurt to give measurements. Um, this, this is one of my early items when I was making, um, less informed decisions when I was sourcing. I don't think I would buy this again. Uh, I do like that it's a wrap dress and I like to buy dresses, but 
Anyway, I evidently sent her an offer with reduced shipping for $16. Uh, so minus the Poshmark fees of $320, plus my shipping discount of $212, my net earnings are $1068. So I'm making I'm making a little money off of it, getting a stale item out. It was it had been out there so long and packaged that I actually had to steam it just to make it look less horrible when she gets it. I just don't want her opening it and, you know, first impressions and all that. It's still going to be hard hard to fold up neatly because it's a wrap dress. And I don't know how to fold. Is there a trick to folding wrap dresses? I don't know. Anyway, it's going to head out to Savannah, Georgia, and I'm good with that. Well, it is Wednesday morning, and I am neither bright-eyed nor bushy-tailed. I am up. I'm drinking my tea. It's still dark out because I have a 715 appointment at the DMV. 715. You take what you can get. So anyway, I did make a, another sale last night. Oh, where are you? It is this Bagatelle. Faux leather, vegan leather, I don't know, jacket, Bagatelle Heritage, size medium, I had this, it's new with tag, I had this listed, it doesn't have a price tag, I had this listed at 50, which I felt was shooting for the stars, I mean it, it was, I don't know, I can't remember, it retailed for like 150 or something, which surprised me. So I listed it at 50, um, and it got no attention at all. And then out of the blue last night, I got a offer for 37, which I considered a thoughtful offer. Like, maybe she considered percentage. No. Uh, but I snatched it up. Right away. Uh, and it's going to be shipped out today. I figured I'd I get it packaged and hopefully be able to stop and mail it on my way back from the DMV. Uh, it's going to Kansas City Mo. Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, so what I get out of this? What I get out of this? I got. Hey, come on now. I got twenty nine dollars and sixty cents. I didn't pay for this. A fellow reseller gave it to me to do with whatever I will. I don't wear red very much. I don't wear such uh, embellished, busy stuff. I mean, it's not really me, so I'm happy for that. Hope everybody has a great day. I was hoping it would be snowing again this morning because that way I could drive and like watch snow fall, but no such luck. Anyway, see you later. This sale is for a pair of Berkeys, Berkeys, which are made by Birkenstock. Um, these are actually in really good shape. Uh, if you don't know Birkenstocks, usually you wear them once and they already look like darkened here. It's just the nature of them. Um, and these are actually quite good. There is like some peeling, I think. Um, people love Birkenstocks. I have never even tried on a pair. I'm gonna have to try on a pair someday. Uh, these are pretty small. Um, so I took a, I must have, I sent an offer to a liker. They countered at $20, so there's no um, shipping discount there. And I took it, and so I get $16. And uh, they're going to Austin, Texas. Uh, do you like that I wear different hats in a lot of these clips? This one is from the Vermont Country Store. Does anybody remember the Vermont Country Store? They're still in existence. This is dead stock. I mean, it definitely looks like it's vintage. Um, I emailed them to see if they can confirm whether, you know, like maybe the year, and they were absolutely no help. But anyway, it's called the Chenille Crusher Hat, and I guess because you can crush it. Anyway, kind of cute. So I thought I'd put it on just for this. It is available in my Poshmark closet. When something happens, like my freezer, my refrigerator, like doing something weird, or oh, my nose is so red. It's because I've been yawning, I think. Anyway, 
Uh, I had a problem with my refrigerator, so I started getting all manic in my kitchen, and I started pulling out, um, like, travel mugs and stuff to get rid of, and I was going to get rid of this. It's a hydro flask. I don't know where I got it, but it is brand new, I believe. Look at that. Never been used. Um, and I'm like, huh, maybe I can sell that. So I, I put it on Poshmark, and it not only just sold, it sold for full price. Okay, if you don't know, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, so I had it listed at 35, which means after um, fees, I make 28. Um, these are kind of expensive. In fact, when I looked them up, this particular top with the straw um, is, I think, optional. So it's ten dollars just for just for the um, upgraded cap thing. So um, now I just have to figure out how to pack it. But where is this little puppy going to? Queen Creek, Arizona. Don't know where that is, but. Yay! This was a tough one. Um, if you watch my haul videos, I bought this. It's in my last haul video. I don't remember what the day was. Anyway, uh, it's this really nice sweater. It says HBS on it, which it turned out is Harvard Business School. It is vintage, new with tag. It was $80, but who knows when. Cotton, the fabric of our lives. Uh, anyway, I just, this was a tough one to, to price because I couldn't find anything like it. I priced high. I priced it at $150 on Poshmark and I put it in a couple of other places. Apparently this person really wanted it. She offered me $70. Um, which it's less than 50% of what I'm asking, but I still would not even call it lowball because the price that I, I mean, I pulled that price, I had no idea what to price it, honestly. So I countered, I want to say at 120 and I think I sent her a message at that point and said, you know, I just got this. I'm not ready to go below 120. If it sits for a while, I'll reevaluate. Uh, so she left it alone for a number of days, and then she sent the offer again, and I countered again. And I think a few days went by again. Anyway, she came back at I she came back at eighty, and I I went down at that point to a hundred because I got a lot of likes on it. But hey, I'm unemployed. I need the money, and I I didn't pay a lot for it. Um, but I definitely was never going to sell it for 70 because I, I would have actually liked to keep it. If I had a job, I, I would have kept it. This is so nice. Uh, so anyway, she countered today at 90 and I, I decided to take it. Um, so I end up getting 72 for it, which is a very nice profit. Um, and she obviously really wanted it. You know, she listened to me and she waited a bit, she tried again. I mean, we could have gone on for a while and I could have messaged her and said, yeah, I'm not there yet. But I decided that I just, uh, I I needed to, to end it. So it is sold and I hope she likes it because it really is a fabulous sweater. It is the last Friday of, of January, 2021. And it's closet clear out. I've had a lot of likes in the last few days. Some of the items I sent offers to, but generally speaking, the lower priced items, I, I don't really like to send offers because, you know, you have to have the shipping discount. And I think they're offering a lower shipping discount that we can, but I'm, I don't have that yet. Um, so anyway, I saved some and I got a bunch of likes during the night. I sent out a oh, a bunch of my closet clear out method messages and I made a sale very quickly um, this sweater this was given to me and I was going to actually keep it for myself it's Aventura I was going to keep it for myself because I thought well, I've never even heard of Aventura I can't imagine like I'll make anything off of it and it is a really nice sweater but 
Maybe I should have kept it. Uh, anyway, I'm trying not to keep things. If I can possibly sell it, and I actually saw another reseller's video, and she had sold something of this brand. I'm like, ah, I'll give it a whirl. If I can make a few bucks off of it, you know, it's one less thing in my house. So I had it only listed at 15. Um, somebody liked it, and I sent my method saying I would reduce it to 12, and they would get the 4.99 shipping, and she took it immediately. So my earnings are 9.05, and I'm happy for that because it's not an expensive item. It's definitely one of my lower end items. Um, hoping to have less of them, but but still, I'll have some. I, I I like to have a range. And you know, there's still money to be made, and at this point, I'm not so busy that I can say, well, it's just not worth. It's just not worth my time for $9.05 because right now it is. So hopefully I'll get some other uh, bites on those closet clear out uh, things I threw out. Oh yeah, I messed up and didn't have the microphone on when I recorded this part. Um, but this is a pair of Rock Revival jeans. I had them at 45. I sent an offer to Liker for 38 with reduced shipping and she took it. So I think I made uh, 28 28 Not bad. Glad to sell a pair of jeans. Well, it is the end of the month, it is the end of the week, and it is the end of this What Sold video, because it's Sunday. Um, there are still enough hours in, a, in this day that I could make some more sales, but hey, we will put them on the next one if they should happen. Yes, the first one was this, oh, both sales were not a lot of money, but I'm very happy about them. Okay, so this is a pair of signature Levi Strauss pull-on skinnies. Totally skinny in size. Does that really matter? I don't know. It's like a, oh, a 12 medium. Um, so, no, I don't buy this brand. But these were given to me. They were new with tag. But somehow, they looked like they had been dropped into a dirty puddle and then driven over with an... 18 wheeler. It was, it was very dirty, but all surface dirt. Um, so I had, I took off the tags. I was going to save them, but they were really dirty anyway, and I lost them. Um, so I just kind of listed them as these were new when I got them, but they were dirty. So I took the tags off and I washed them. So they've been washed, but they haven't been worn. They're actually pretty nice. Um, they have this elastic waist and I guess they're like jeggings. They have pockets in the back, but these are faux pockets. Would that be vegan pockets? Hmm? No. Anyway, uh, this was the result of the closet clear out method. I had them for 20. Someone liked them. I said, I will reduce them to 16. I thought that was pretty good. I usually don't go that low on closet clear out with a $20 item, but anyway. Uh, uh, 16 with reduced shipping. She said, okay. And so I get $12.80. The other item, oh, I'm so happy to get rid of this. I'm not taking it out of the bag because it's a men's shirt and it's nicely folded and lighting doesn't strike twice. So, it's just a plaid Pendleton shirt. Oh, I hope they like it. I don't want this back. Um, I don't know. I, I've had this in my closet for at least a year. I've had it on different platforms. I've had it for a higher price. I've had it for a lower price. I've, I've reduced the price during closet clear out. I've sent messages during closet clear out. Plenty of likes, no purchases. So anyway, it the last 
time I relisted it, I put it at 19. Oh, it has snaps. Put it at 19. Today I was sharing my closet, and then the party, um, the noon party, was tops and sweaters. So I shared this to both the party and my followers, and somebody just purchased it. They didn't like it. There was no offer. They just purchased it for the $19. And so I got $15.20. So... I don't know if it's a result of sharing my closet or the party. I'm leaning towards party. Um, but it just shows that, you know, everything you do can bring a sale. Uh, so I'm happy about this. Uh, January 2021 is the first month that I'm actually keeping track of things. Um, this has always been kind of a hobby for me, but desperation. Yeah, you know. Anyway, uh, so I made a ton of spreadsheets. I'm keeping track of all the money I spend. I'm keeping track of all the money I make. Before, I didn't keep track of anything. But I wanted to keep track of how many sales I make per day. I'm doing it in a very high, highly technological way. It's actually on my sales spreadsheet as well because I don't just list the item. I list when I sold it. But I like looking at this, which just shows exactly how many sales I made on every day. The only, Okay, there were five Fridays, five Saturdays, and five, five Sundays. Um... The only days of the week, four of the others, in case you could guess, the only days of the week that I did not miss a sa sale on that day is Wednesday and Thursday. Saturday, I made the most sales, but I only sold things on three out of the five Saturdays. I mean, this isn't enough to, to suggest any kind of pattern, and even if it did, I don't know what I'm going to do with this information, but they say know your numbers. They just don't tell you what to do with them. Um, anyway, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe if this continues this way and I find Wednesdays and Thursdays have the most traffic, maybe that will be a day that I list a few more than my normal five items. Maybe it's a day I'm more aggressive with offers. I don't know. If you keep track of anything like this and notice a pattern uh, and actually do something about that pattern, drop me a comment below. Uh, tell me tell me what you do with all these numbers because I don't, I don't really know. So anyway, this is it for what's sold, and hopefully there'll be an even longer one next week. Anyway, talk to you later. Oh, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell. And if you like this sort of thing, you can hit the thumbs up. I don't know what good it does me, but it makes me feel good. Isn't that something? Bye.